All right, what is up guys? Welcome to a new video for today. Thank you for tuning in. As always, my name is Baird Strudwick, and today we'll be talking about importing products from AliExpress and Oberlo and adding them to your store and making sure you have a great product description to get a lot of sales. So let's just say you've done a whole bunch of product research on AliExpress and you found a product that you really like and you want to add it to your store, but you're not really sure how to do that. Huge shout out to Space Station Gaming for hooking it up with this amazing gaming shower. It's really comfy, so I enjoy it. Thank you Space Station Gaming for hooking it up. I appreciate it. Now back to the video. Hopefully by the next couple of videos, I won't sound as sick anymore. But I have to get a video out for you guys today, so I hope you enjoy this video. And once again, I'm sorry for the stuffiness. It won't be like this forever. So today we're going to be talking about sourcing products off of AliExpress, importing them to your store via Oberlo, and adding a good product description to that product to make sure it converts very well on your store. And so let's hop on AliExpress, let's go find a product we want to add to our store, and then we'll import it on Oberlo, and I will show you guys exactly how I do that, how I take care of the shipping weight, how I do... Uh, different shipping methods, what kind of shipping methods I use, all that stuff I'll let you know. But uh, let's hop into my laptop right now and let's figure it out. Alright, so I'm scrolling through AliExpress right now. You see I have my example store set up right here. I've got Oberlo. This is the app you will need to import products, or at least I use this app. It's my favorite app. I think this is one of the most important apps I have, if not the most important app I have on my Shopify store, because without this app, Importing products via AliExpress would be very difficult and it just it wouldn't be nearly as easy to add a product First we need to find a product we want to add so let's just scroll through AliExpress and let's find like a random product we want to add um, Let's do the surf. All right, we'll click the surf shop, whatever that means. Okay. Well, well, there's some interesting stuff right here. We got some uh, Bike butt pads. We've got some scooters. Looks like a bird. We got a Superman shirt I would steer clear of that because copyright reasons Let's add this laser, for example. I don't know, it looked cool. So this is a cool laser, it shoots a little green beam. Um, wow, that's pretty darn cool. All right, so 390, we can get this laser and free shipping to the US, but that's 20 to 38 days, so we don't have that. We wanna make sure they have e-package shipping, that's 12 to 20 days, so that's their best shipping method. So that's good, and let's see if they ship anywhere out. You know, the Netherlands, they, all right, so they ship other places too. So what we're going to do is, we're going, the first thing we want to do, let's say we have our product, this is the product we want to add to our store, which is the powerful laser pointer pen. We're gonna copy the URL, super simple, just copy that URL up top, and then we're gonna go to Oberlo. Now in Oberlo, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to search products right here. We're gonna click on that, and this is where, one, you can search for products on Oberlo, and two, where you can import products via AliExpress. So, all of these products right here are sourced on Oberlo. So if you wanted to add a product, it's super simple. You just click add product to import list. Um, I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> so we're here on search products. We're gonna click import product by URL or ID. We're gonna go right here to product URL and all we're going to do is press copy paste. And we're going to paste the URL from right here into this little box and we're gonna click import. It's that simple. So once you import, it'll say product is being imported. And now all you have to do is go over up here to your import list. Now that you got your import list, it'll show right here. It'll have the title. You can change the title you want. Green laser pointer. I spelled it wrong. All right. And now this is where if you have collections, you can add it to your homepage collection. You can add it to a technology, different collections. I'm just going to add it to my homepage collection because I am on my example store. And it's not completely set up yet. So uh, this is the only collection I have right now. But I'm just showing you guys, if you have different collections, you can use any collection you want. Now for type, this is going to be a, I'll just say laser or gadget or something like that. And now for tags, when someone's searching uh, the product that they wanna find, in this case, it's the laser pointer on your store, the tags are the words that they will type in in the search bar that will hopefully bring up this laser pointer. So I can type in laser pointer, laser pointer, green LED light. Um, let's see, hunting pen, it's a laser pen for an example. So if anybody wanted to search this laser pointer on my store, they could just type in laser, they could just type in pointer, pen, LED light, um, something like that. So then if they type in any of these words, they'll find it. Super simple. Now is where we edit the description. So we have the product description, variants, and images. The description, I usually get rid of all of the AliExpress description that they give you automatically. Also, if you don't really know how to write a description, a good example to look at would be to go to another store online that sells a laser pen and see what they say. All right, so I just finished the description. As you can see, I listed a whole bunch of different functions for this one product and reason, reasons why you should buy it. So you can see it, field travelers, if you're a climber, explorer, if you're an astronomer, you wanna look at the stars at night, it's really good because it's perfect at nighttime. Uh, if you're a tour guide, if you're teaching, if you wanna just point at stuff and for fun, you know? So this is a good description. It's always good to add a couple of reasons why you should buy this product in the description. So if the customer is curious about it or interested in it and they want to buy it and they read the description, they could be like, oh, 
I could also use it for that, or oh, I could also use it for that reason, or oh, I could also use it for that reason. So if you get their mind going, you get them thinking about ways this product could be useful for them, then they're more inclined to buy. So we have the product, we've, we've titled it, we've added it to a collection, we've added our tags, we've got a description, now is when we add variant. Um, so variants mean basically how much we want to charge for this product, whether you or not we want to have it on sale. All that is decided and determined in the variant section of Oberlo. So what we're going to do, it says it's free shipping to the United States, but we, we know that that is the free 20 to 38 day shipping. So they have the e-package shipping, which is another $1.68. This is what we want to use. Um, so we'll just keep that in mind. So it's $3.90 plus another $1.80, I believe. Yeah, $1.68. All right, so overall, it's going to cost you a little over $5.50. I think it's $5.58 total for this one product if you want to ship to the United States. So what I like to do is if it's going to cost me $5.60, I don't want to sell for $7.80 because that's only a $2 profit margin. I've changed the price to $19.95, which is $15 more than what I'm getting it for and shipping it out for. I'm buying it for $5.60 and I'm selling it for $19.95. So that's around $14 profit margin, and I'm gonna compare it to the price of $29.99, I'm getting a sale, and um, say it's 30% off or 40% off or something like that, and that's pretty much it. So now the last thing we have right here is images. So these are obviously the images you want to add to your store. So I'll have the main image, I'll have you know probably an image of it being used at night, shining in the room, uh, some different purposes, some more nighttime shots with it just so people can see how powerful it is excuse me and once you have the images you want to add to your store and to your product selected all you have to do is click import to store and if I wanted to charge free shipping or paid shipping after I click import to store so it's under products I'm on my personal hotspot on my phone because the Wi-Fi is really bad in this room so here here we go we have our American flag hat from the last video and then now we have the green laser pointer so 500 in stock, we're gonna click on that. We've got our description right here. We have our images, we have our tags. Our collection is on the home page. We have it as a price of 19.95, but it's 30% off. We're saying we're comparing it at price 29.99, and that's pretty, pretty much it. So now all we have to do is make sure that we wanted to charge free shipping on this one product. What I do for all of my products is I charge free shipping on all of my products throughout my whole store just because I want people to not get hit with any hidden charges when they're checking out. I want them to see that product, whether or not they decide to like it and buy it, they know that they're gonna pay only that much right there and then and they're not gonna get hit with any hidden fees or anything as they go and they check out. So if they like a product that's $24.95, they decide they wanna buy that product, I don't want them to go click add to cart, check out, blah, 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 and then see that it's $4.95 shipping and handling and then leave the site because they didn't want to pay that extra $4.95. I want them to know exactly what they're paying. So when they click add to cart, they know exactly that that's what they're gonna pay. And the chances of them converting on that one sale are a lot higher because they're not getting hit with any hidden fees like I just said. So, weight. This is very important. I make the weight zero pounds for all of my products because zero pounds is my free shipping weight. I have a little mini course coming out soon. I, I've created a whole Shopify store. This is the Shopify store I've created for you guys step by step. It's a long video, you guys will be able to see it and watch me create my store step by step. Add all the shipping rates, add products, make my store look nice, all of that will be out soon. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that, it's coming out. But I'm just gonna get into this again. The weight is zero pounds, that means I charge free shipping on it. So, set up my shipping methods, I go to settings, I go to shipping, I have this already down here, I have this all set up. But basically, what you're gonna do is, I. you can see it right here, for the US, I have different weights or different shipping prices. So zero pounds right here is my free insured shipping and handling price. It's free right here. Now if I wanted the product to be one pound, it'll be four ninety five. Two pounds, it'll be five ninety five. I might if I mark the product as three pounds, it'll be six ninety five, and so on and so forth, all the way up until thirteen to nineteen pounds, twenty one ninety five. So that this confuses a lot of people. When they think weight of the shipping, they think weight of the actual product. The weight of your actual product does not matter. The weight system we have on our Shopify store right here does not have anything to do with the actual weights of the products. I'm gonna repeat that. The weight of these different shipping methods have nothing to do with the actual weight of the products that I'm selling and shipping. This is strictly for uh, pricing. So if the product weighs two pounds in real life, then it doesn't matter. If I wanted to sell, if I want to ship it for free shipping, I'll mark it as zero pounds, just so I know that I'm gonna ship it for free. It's still gonna cost me around a dollar sixty-eight cents. I'm gonna take that dollar sixty-eight and I'm adding that to the actual cost of the product. 
So you could either do make that product $14.95 plus shipping and handling or $19.95 free shipping. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you kind of understand where I'm going at? People are more inclined to buy the product if they see that it's one, one price and they don't get hit with any hidden fees after that. So if they went and they checked out, they saw it was $14.95, they clicked add to cart, they clicked check out, and now they see another $4.95 for shipping, they're gonna be like, what the heck? Why, why is that there? But if they see $19.95, free shipping, they're gonna be like, all right, I'm not getting hit with any other fees, I've already agreed to pay $19.95, might as well check out. I'm marking this laser as zero pounds because it is free shipping on my website. I want to advertise it as free shipping. So if I wanted to have 495 shipping on it, I'd change this one um, weight to one pound. So I go back here, I go to my product, uh, which should be this one right here, and I go down to weight, and I'd make it one pound. Now if I made this one pound, then all of a sudden it'd be 1995, and then you go to check out, and it'd be another 495 shipping and handling. So it'd be $24.95 basically. So, super simple, we've added the weight, made it free shipping, we have the description, we've got the title, we've got the product, we've got the images, we've got the price, we've got all of that good stuff. I don't charge taxes on my products, and that's pretty much it, it's as simple as that. Now if we want to go to my store, we can go click here. It's not completely set up, like I said, but we can click view your store right here, and we will see it on the front page, look, right here, boom. Green laser pointer, $29.95, but wait, it's only $19.95, 30% off, click, boom, buy. Product description right here, we have all of that, and then that's that's pretty much it. That's It's as simple as that, guys. But I hope you guys were able to learn and uh, use this information and add it to your own stores. If you guys were struggling with product descriptions or struggling with adding products or any of that stuff, I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Like always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Like and subscribe.